They're known as crunchy there, or more commonly, glass squid. And the reason they're called glass squid is because all of them have transparent bodies, and they use this as a major adaptation and as a major survival strategy. But most glass squids, or most crunchids, usually occur in surface or mid-water depths in various open oceans, with the transparency in this case offering camouflage. As a matter of fact, their body shape and even cells inside their skin are basically designed for maximum camouflage in order to hide from, for example, larger fish, from whales, or from a lot of other predators. And in marine biology, they're basically known as the masters of deep sea camouflage. They're extremely difficult to detect, and some of them even have bizarre light producing organs that actually mimic illumination from above the squid and from below the squid to basically make them almost entirely invisible. And so yeah, this is like something out of science fiction, but basically the alien from Predator. As a matter of fact, for many of them, only some organs are still visible. Interestingly, for many of them, it's their digestive organs. Specifically, the digestive gland, which is very similar to our liver. But even here, they actually created a bizarre adaptation. Instead of being horizontal, like in other squids, here it's vertical in order to make it as invisible as possible, and in order to reduce the overall silhouette. 